When this game was on the latest submissions on the front page of Newgrounds, latest submissions is that list on the left side, and it's literally just stuff that's coming into the portal. When this was on that list, I played this game, and I loved this game. This was submitted a week and a half ago, and it just made it onto the front page of Newgrounds a couple days ago. But I couldn't remember what the name of the game was. I just remember that there was a little robot, and you traveled around, and you got a bunch of upgrades, and it was like playing Metroid. And actually, that was it's the description of the game here. If you look down here, this is a short Metroidvania platformer. And so when I saw that, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And I haven't been able to play it since, because like I said, I couldn't remember what the name was, so I couldn't find it. And I knew it was on the front page of Newgrounds, but I was... I, you, I, it was in the submissions list, not actual front page. So when you start off this game, you can do nothing. You have, you have left, right, and ducking power. No shooting, no jumping, no nothing. And you want the kitty, which is right above you. And the only way to get the kitty is to travel around the level, find a bunch of power-ups, and then get to the kitty. Like right there, that J... That's the jump power-up, so if I grab that, now I can jump with the Z button. And we have to find... there's a double jump, there's a rocket boost, there's missiles... I don't remember what that is. Robot pattern encoded. Oh, that's a checkpoint, I believe. Can I jump up high enough? Maybe. Just maybe. Nope, can't. The first time I played this, I, w I didn't beat it. I played it for a couple minutes, thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, see, that's a checkpoint. Ah! Every time you die, I think it adds time. Yeah, you get like a 20 second penalty. And you're supposed to beat the game as fast as possible. So there is X to fire deadly lasers. And you can't get up here, but that's the double jump, because it's got two J's. And it's just oh, very Metroid-esque. Looks like it takes three shots to kill those red guys. Because... You can just... it... Oh, I, I don't know how to express how much I love this game right now. It looks wonderful. It's very simple, but it's very clear. You don't have to worry about anything. It's obvious that that big, you know, the green liquid is gonna kill you. It's obvious that these are bad guys and that you should kill them. These guys only take one hit. And it's all one level, so you don't have to worry about traveling around, going to different levels, you know, finding a check... not a checkpoint. Finding the flag at the end of the level to get through it. And so these are the kinds of games I just really love. Can't get up there without the double jump. But I want to kill him. That's what I was wanting to do. You get, uh, I believe it takes one second off your current time when you kill an enemy, so let's find out. 12, back to 11. Yep. So you want to kill enemies as much as possible, die as little as possible. Wow, that looks like it's going to be fun. I think I've been through there before. There's a checkpoint. Um, did I want to fall right there? I'm wondering if I might have been able to get to the other side. I'm just going to wander. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do a full recorded playthrough of this game, simply because uh, I'm going to gush. <laughs> and I don't want to sit here and gush the whole time. These guys, I remember taking several hits, and I'm not doing very well in the shooting. Now we can double jump, so we can go backwards. When you shoot the red guys, they change direction, so you always got to watch out for that. I remember getting... Uh, Getting killed, if I want to speak that way. Getting killed. Also, Long John Silvers, they're grilled tilapia. Very tasty. And the breadstick that I got. Usually if you get a breadstick from a fast food restaurant, it's going to be kind of dry or gross. This one was actually really nice. Uh, really nice. It was soft and warm and moist on the inside, but the outside was crunchy. Just like you'd want it to be. Die, 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 die! Why don't you die? Actually, I'm the robot that wants a kitty, so I should be saying, Robot wants kitty. Where is kitty? Show me kitty, or I will kill you. We can open green gates now. What's down here? This is where we were, right? Yeah, we came up here. Well, yeah, let's go back down here. And not fall in that. Yay! 
And there was another place over here that we couldn't get before, like up here, maybe. Maybe we could get up here before, who knows. Like I said, I'm just wandering. Each time that you do something in this game, it does bring you to an area um, that you couldn't get to before. Like, I'm not going to make it across that pit of grossness. I do know what item takes you across that pit of grossness, and that is the rocket booster. Okay, so we don't have anywhere to go right now up here. So I want to go up instead. Can't get through this pink thing yet. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Somewhere up here, like... Where can we get to? There's a power-up, so let's head that way. But I believe in order to get that way, you have to head this way first. So let's head up. Ah, with the double jump, we can go dump, dump, like that through here. I remember this spot. I've been here before. This place is annoying because of the, uh, all of these little one-eyed tentacle freaks coming down at you, and you gotta either stay towards the bottom like this in order to avoid them, or kind of work your way around, since they hit, like, these guys here. You can't reach them until you get up towards the top, and that's gonna be a pain to get. Ah! Die. Thank you. No! no. Ah, this would be cooler if I knew where I was going, maybe. Well, I shouldn't say cooler if I knew where I was going, because I haven't wasted any time yet. I'm, we're going where we can go. And that's the wonderful thing about this game. Yay! Now we can get through that green gate. The first time I played this, I got all the way over here without getting the green key and had to go looking for it. And I like that, but you guys might not. So, yep, told you, you had to go up and around and you could get to the arrow. Let's go ahead and kill you. I'm just going to wait because I don't know how far over I'm going to go. Oh, I could have made that. All right, press C to rocket at ludicrous speed. You do. Check this out. You have to hit... <laughs> I want to know what the sounds like when I uh, turn up the recording. You have to hit a wall to stop. Now, with that rocket, we can now go across here. Boom! See? Have to hit a wall to stop. Be careful that you don't accidentally hit that button when you are in the wrong position. I know what that is, too. I've been down there. We need the red door opener. Oh, crap. Boom. Boom. I got this. I got this. This is not so tough. Boom. Boom. Right. And there's still that one that went way up there. I don't know if he's come back down yet. I don't see him. Ugh. Alright, can I get across here? Yep. Ugh. Even more of these guys. They just don't end. But the cool thing is, like I said, it takes your time back. Oh, that was one of the reasons when I first started playing this game, I was thinking about doing a recording of it. And I'm like, it's going to be kind of weird, because how long have I really been playing the game? When I finished, when I stopped playing, I was about uh, eight, ten minutes in on the clock. And I have said, you know, but if you kill an enemy, it takes a second off of the clock. So, really, how long have I been playing? It could easily have been... I mean, with as many enemies as I've seen already, I could easily have taken two, three minutes off the clock. This is not a boxing glove. You should know by now. You ought to know by now that it unlocks this. And that was the guy. Okay, I don't see him. I'm afraid, though, because if I hit one of them, I die. And you can't scroll down the screen. Alright, if he's anywhere, he's on the left side, so let's fall down the right. Ah! See? We were right. Now we can get through here. Click! Yep, we're about a minute and 15 seconds behind uh, the in-game time right now, as far as recording goes. Not all of that's due to enemy... Dang it, I hit the stupid guy. That's alright, though. We start off right here, which is very close to where we wanted to be. Hey, how's this? Let's go down here. Is there anything to be gained in this room? I don't like these guys. Get out of my way. Thank you. Boom. Whoa. Wrong button. Having all of the keys right next to each other, the uh, X, Z, and C keys, can make it kind of difficult. But for me, I'm not used to using those keys. I really love my controller. I mean, I didn't pay for my controller to not use it. But, and I do know that there are programs that can do that, so I don't need people to tell me. But, I'll have to use the key 
keyboard at some point. I really don't know how people play games like... I can't get through there yet. Boom! Like Mario Brothers using the keyboard. Or the way, like, Big Dip use, uh, plays Nintendo 64 games on the keyboard. And, and does better with the keyboard than... Wow, I didn't fight that guy last time. I wonder if I can get to... Yes, I can get to him. Alright, let's see how well we can do against this pop. Die! Why won't you die? Does it come up? No, nope, it doesn't get through. Dang it. Oh well. That's a good time to stop. So this is a uh, Robot Wants Kitty by Hamumu. It is now on the front page of Newgrounds. Not the latest submissions, an actual front page submission. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, you can see what it is right now. You run around, gather up the upgrades, and eventually you will get to Kitty. Bye-bye.